Everybody. Welcome to Paper Clipping. I'm your host, Noelle Hyman. One of my favorite things to do when I'm in the mood to get really creative is I like to make mini books. And I want to share with you today the types of items that I look for to have unusual, unique types of pages. And we're going to look at how you can organize this kind of stuff so that you set yourself up to make unique and fun and creative mini books. And then I'm going to share with you how I might put, put some of those pieces together into an actual mini album. Let's go ahead and get started for today's episode of Paper Clipping. This is my mini book box and it's basically got most everything that I think I will be using for mini books or that I know I will be using. So here on the very top, I've got this container of rings, book binding rings so that I can bind my books. And then back here is my package of O-wire, which I have not used, but will, for those types of rings. So I keep those in there and I'm gonna take this one out here. And then everything else is what I think of as foundations. And to me, that's an important word. Instead of thinking of covers and pages, I consider them foundations because that opens your mind up to other possibilities. And that you'll, is really important for thinking outside the box, making unique things. And we'll do another episode on that sometime soon. I'll just show you what, what I've got in here. This was the start of an album I thought I would make and then changed my mind. So it still says clarity on there. I was gonna paint over that. But I've got this little album here. And so I have a few store-bought mini albums, like here, which I haven't really used yet. But then inside of that, I've also got these pages that were in albums that are extra. And you can see I've got tons of extra. And so I can easily add these into other mini books to get different sizes of pages, varying sizes. And then I've got some extra, like this is still covered in plastic, but that's a clear acrylic page. It was just an extra page I didn't need. So I just keep it back in my box so that when I wanna make a new mini book with some different pages, I can. Here's another one. Now this is a mini book that I've already started pulling apart. I don't intend to use this as its own mini book even though it came this way. I think I will probably always use it as individual pieces. And here's an example of that in, my, uh, in this book that I'm almost done altering. I took the very top piece and used it as a foundation for this embellishment gathering here. Let's show it so you can actually see it. So you can see why thinking of these things as foundations instead of pages or mini books can really open your mind. Here I've got this little doorknob, so we're gonna pull that out. Um, more little pieces of chipboard. Now, I've also got some really unusual items here. So we're gonna start looking at some of these unusual pieces. And these are the kinds of things that normally you might throw away or recycle that I tend to keep because I know they can make something interesting potentially. So this was from Hipstamart, Hipstamatic or something like that. It was, it's a phone app for photos. And our pictures came in it. So I thought it was a really cool envelope. You know, it came like this. You open it up, it says Joy right there and some really cool graphics. It's got this window right here. That's where our pictures were. And it's a pocket there. So I know I can do something cool with that. And I'm actually going to do something cool with that today. So we'll set that aside, look at a few more things. This, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This was part of some packaging, but it's good quality. I like that it opens up and it's got these spaces in between here. So I could do something with that. I could somehow make a, a maybe a mini book inside of it and the pages would open up because it's nice and thick. It's got that page or that space there. So I don't, like I said, I don't know what I'll do with it or when I'll use it, but I'm sure I will at some point. So I'm keeping that. These are packages from, these are part of the packaging from Tim Holtz. And some of his products have really nice even circles. So they're, 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 uh, they're not irregularly spaced. They're nice evenly spaced. Some of them are irregularly spaced and I don't keep those. But when they have a nice even spacing, I keep them and we're gonna use some of these today. Here's another one. I don't know if I'll use this one, but uh, at some point, but because it's evenly spaced, I'm, gonna, I'm keeping that. 
and these will become a foundation or a page inside of something. This I found at Goodwill. It was the top of some kind of a caddy and I bought the whole thing and then I gave them back the bottom. I just wanted to keep this because I think this will make a really cool cover. I love that little doorknob there. I'm not sure how I would assemble it, attach it, but I know I can find a way so it stays in my box. These are leftover pages from a mini book where I had acrylic pages like this and they're all scalloped. I had these ones and then I had chipboard pieces and I never, when I bought it, I never intended it to use it the way it was intended, which was as one whole mini book. Instead, I decided I would use it in parts and pieces. So an example of that is in this mini book right here. I cut up a chipboard piece, added glitter to the outside and then also to this side here. And so now I have, I can use these, I could use one page could now become two different pages because I cut it in half and I use it in my mini book and it adds a lot of really interesting, unique variety to my pages like that. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here in this box. These are from Tattered Angels. I don't think they sell these anymore, but they were chipboard pieces, four by seven, kind of a strange size. I've used them in a mini book and we can look at this one right here. Lots of unusual sizes here. And if we get, here's another one of those scalloped pieces. If we get back to right over here, you can see I've used one of those as a mini book page. So that's what these are here. And we're gonna keep digging a little bit further. I've got these random leftover chipboard pieces. I'm getting ready to, these are covers or insides of pages. Actually, these came in a binder. So they were the insides, inside pages of a mini album. And I like to use them as covers instead. And I think I might use this one as the bottom cover of a book I'm, we're gonna make today. So I'm gonna set that aside. You can see I've got more larger sizes of papers, another scallop here, more covers. Here's another piece, of, a piece of packaging of some kind which I thought was cool. It's a thinner piece of chipboard, but the reason it's cool to me is because it's got this here. So doesn't that look like a binder now? I'm not really sure how it was used. It was probably holding something underneath like this. So if I want a, a piece, a chip, if I want a mini album that doesn't have to be super sturdy, because there is a difference. I have some that need to be sturdy and some that don't, then this might be a fun thing to use. Or I might be able to do something to it to make it more sturdy. Maybe add some smaller chipboard pieces to fit to it. But I like that it's got that kind of binder appeal to it. One other thing that I know is deep down in here, I've got, oh, a canvas piece that's on chipboard. So that could be used as a, as a foundation or a cover. And then this piece right here, this was from a clothing package. It's called Love Culture. And so I used, I had two of those and really liked that whole idea. And so I've used it as the back cover of this mini book. And now this is one of those mini books where I'm fine with it being flimsy. It doesn't need to last for the generations to come. It's just a fun little book that I wanted for me. So we're gonna go ahead and now use a few of these items and make uh, some parts of a mini book. Here's what I've got so far for our book for a visit to Hawaii this year. And I'm just gonna show you a few of these pages. I have not added much embellishing yet. That's the last thing I do, that in the journaling. And so I'm not quite ready for that. So it's still pretty simple, but I know I wanna add something here because this is now the beginning of a new section. We went to Hanama Bay and I'd like a page that's a little unusual. So I think that is a great time to use this little packaging piece. And the first thing I'm gonna do is cut away this lipped edge here. So you wanna do that with a really good pair of scissors that'll cut nicely through thick plastic. I want to embellish these little pieces and I decided I'm going to do that mainly with rub-ons. So here are some of the rub-ons I'll be using. And then I also have some different embellishments and pieces. This is a little piece of memorabilia that I'm going to add to it too. This will go here. So it's time to start rubbing those rub-ons on. The front of my little page is done now and I've got my smashed penny memorabilia from our trip. And because I used rub-ons, I can flip it over and the back side looks pretty cool too. I just want to add one thing. I'm going to add this big giant flower here to the center. I have a rub-on, or not a rub-on, a glue dot right there underneath my brad. 
and I've got that in the center. And I think I'm gonna leave these. These are the backs of the like a button and some different pieces that I put there on the front. I think I'll leave them. If they start to bug me, I could always put some bling on it, but I think I actually like it. And that's what it will look like ultimately in the end. So when we put it on top of the page, it'll have the three rings on this side, and then it'll flip over like this. Now I'm at the end of the Hanama Bay section, and this is a piece I'm going to embellish, but on the other side, we're now at the Polynesian Cultural Center. This was the front of a pamphlet here that I've turned into a page. And I've got some interactive pieces here. And here's a map. Still need to embellish that a little bit. So I've got those pages and I've got this little piece, this little booklet that I want to add in too. So that is a perfect time to use this little guy. And I've already cut off the top. So now I can make it into a page. I cut it to the height of my book and I can stick my little pamphlet inside and he shows through the window and it's like a pocket so I can move it in and out. And all I need to do now is just punch holes in it right along with my pages and it's just another page. So if I wanna cover up the back of this, I can. At this point, I kinda of like it and the colors work so I think I might leave it. Hopefully today's episode gave you lots of ideas for some unusual items that you can use to make up your mini books and also some ways to get it organized so you don't have just junk all over your scrap room. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, have fun paper clipping. Thank you.